Howdy folks and good morning! Yes, I guess you can tell by this what I'm driving. So I'm actually just sitting here. Uh, listen. <laughs> She's alive! And I'm sitting here with the aircon on. Yes, every Alfa Romeo must have one of these. You can get it at Evo Club. Uh, you can get a smaller fire extinguisher, but still very good. But I, I've gotten one of these, which is really, really good at the... What was it? Fire... Fire... Marshal or some, something like that, firefighter. Yeah, firefighter. There we go. So anyway, I'm sitting here, full tank of fuel, uh, oil pressure is very good, temperature stable, with the aircon running in the 1979 Alfa Romeo. This is uh, unprecedented. But really, it's it's a freaking hot day outside. I'm at my favorite car wash here next to the 7-Eleven and SS5. And uh, yeah, so I can just sit here with the the engine idling and uh, none the worse for wear but you know what I don't like doing this I really don't and the only reason I'm doing this is because the power windows are not working see okay that one's making a sound but it's not coming out coming down yeah and you know what I don't want to bring them down for fear of not them being able to go up again and then I can't get my car washed and that's happened with the Waja before I put the windows down before the car wash and then one of the windows wouldn't want to go up and that was the end of that. So, anyway. So, how's it going, you all? Yes, somebody pointed out that I've got different car shirts so I'm wearing a Honda shirt driving an Alfa Romeo. <laughs> but other than that, everything's okay. Okay, I'm sorry I've not uploaded anything in a while but I've been really ill after getting back from Bangkok Motor Show. Folks, just a little bit of advice. You don't have to take it, you know. Advice is it's free and it's up to you whether you want to take it or not. But if you don't have to fly, don't fly because those airplanes are freaking petri dishes for germs and viruses. Yes, I picked up a virus on the plane uh, flying back. I was fine at Bangkok. I went through the whole motor show, no problem. Uh, flying there was okay, you know. I, I, I took my vitamins and everything. But coming back, coming back, I definitely picked up something and it, and it sucked. Man, it sucked so bad. It was it was a horrible, horrible virus. And I've been ill. I mean like really ill. For the last week after getting back. A bit more than a week. What is it today? Today's Tuesday. Uh, yeah, more than a week. Because I got back last, last Friday. And uh, I've been down and out really bad. So if you don't have to fly, folks, don't fly. Drive. Drive your own car. At least all the germs and viruses inside here are made by you and nobody else. I wore a mask the whole time. In fact, on the plane, I double masked. I have a cloth mask and a 3M mask. Oh, what, an N95 mask? But it was still that bad. And I, I still got a virus. I checked. It wasn't COVID, thank God. But uh, it was still one hell of a bad virus. And apparently, it's going around because there are so many of my friends who are down and out. Some are just recovering. You know who you are. I hope you guys are okay. But it was my turn and I was bedridden. I was bedridden for the last four days, five days a week. Uh, I missed Evo at Puerto because of this. I, you know, I didn't want to... I could have driven there, but... You know, why take the chance and spread the, the virus? They say the worst time to actually go out is when you're already recovering. Because that's when the virus is looking for new hosts. Because they know that, that your host uh, is getting immune. Uh, as in you are getting immune to it. Uh, you got, the virus is, virus is going to die soon. So they start looking for a new host. I mean, it's horrible. Um, you should read a book uh, written by Richard Preston called The Hot Zone. It's about the Ebola virus. But it's about viruses in general and how, how, they, how they mutate and propagate. Oh, it's scary, scary, scary shit. I mean, when, when Stephen King himself, in, 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 the book, in the footnotes of the book, where other authors give their, their account of what the book is like. When Stephen King himself said this is the scariest book he's ever read, you know it's it's pretty bad. And because it's true, it's all true. Whatever was written in there, it's all true. Anyway, um, I'm feeling much better now, but still, I'm, I'm not going to be out in public. So I'm just here in my car and getting my car washed and being a good boy and staying home. But yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. Anyway, apart from that, the car is running fine. It's still just sitting here idling. I can show you. Ta-da! My rev counter works. My speedo hasn't worked since day one. Now, one day I'll get it fixed. One day I'll get it fixed. But apart from that, this car is running so well. 
and uh, really 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 happy with this car the fact that she can just start up and drive you know whether she can drive a thousand kilometers I haven't found out yet but uh, I will someday I will someday uh, anyway you all take care yeah and uh, be safe remember COVID virus is still out there so you know it's not like it's left us or anything it's just mutated into something else oh, I love the sound of this car so I just sit here idling in a 1979 Alfa Romeo with the aircon blasting yeah and it's fine Oh, what a car, what a car. Anyway, take care, you all. Thanks for watching. Just a very quick five-minute update, six-minute update. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye.